This is problem uh, solving 66 of the official guide, 12th edition. Pretty much what we are told here in the problem is that at a school, the ratio of second graders to uh, fourth graders is 8 to 5. The ratio of first graders to second graders is 3 to 4. And the ratio of third graders to fourth graders is 3 to 2. And uh, the question is, what is the ratio of uh, first graders to third graders? Now, we could do this problem using uh, equations, but that would be too complicated. We could start setting equations like uh, the number of first graders is, or the second graders are to the fourth graders as 8 is to 5 and so on. And that's pretty much the explanation given in, in, in the official guide. But uh, I think an easier explanation is to do this pretty much to uh, straighten up what I personally call to straighten up uh, the ratio. And that we do based on the following property. A ratio, as we know, is pretty much a fraction, right? So if I say 2 to 4 and I multiply both by 2, of course I get an equivalent fraction and an equivalent ratio. So in our case, what we do in order to straighten up uh, our ratio yeah, what we do is find a column which is occupied by at least uh, two numbers. Yeah, a column that has uh, two boxes with numbers. And so I go eight times four is thirty-two. And so I write it here. Now look at this. Here I have my ratio of three to four, and I want to write the equivalent ratio of first graders to second graders down here. Now I say. If I multiply the 4 by 8, that's what happened to my 4, right? To come down from here to here, I multiply the 4 by 8. Well, I am going to be, I'm going to do the same thing to the corresponding number for the 4, which is the 3. And 3 <coughs> times 8 is 24. Now, <coughs> I want to complete also the 8 to 5 ratio, the ratio of second graders to fourth graders. And to do so, I'm going to say, okay, what did I do to my 8 here to take it down here? Well, I multiply it by 4. <coughs> so the 5, which is the corresponding number uh, to the 8 in the ratio, I'm going to multiply it by 4 too. And so 5 uh, times 4 is 20. And now, look at our last guy, which is this ratio, the ratio of third graders to, to, to fourth graders. Now, you see what happened to your 2 here. We pretty much multiplied our 2 by, by 10 to go from here to here, right? Well, so the 3 also goes by 10, and 3 times 10 is, of course, 30. And so finally, what we want is what? The ratio of first graders to third graders, well, that's 24 to 30, divide by, <coughs> by what? By 6, upstairs and downstairs, and you get 4 fifths, and that is your answer.